In previous video, we had studied about active and passive component. Today, we will learn about unilateral and bilateral element. But before that, let's have a quick review of previous lecture. So, in previous lecture, we have studied about active and passive uh, component. So, here we have plot two graph. You have to find out uh, which one is active component and which one is passive component. So, as I have told you, the graph of active component always lies second quadrant. It is first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. Graph is in which second quadrant. So, this overall element is what? Active component. Alright, friend. This is an active component. In second graph, you can see, uh, I had told you previously that if the graph is lying in the first quadrant and the graph is in neg and the slope is negative, then the component is active component. As we can see, V equal to I R Ohm's law. As we increase the voltage, uh, current should also increase. But in this case, you know here we have voltage V1. At V1, we have current maximum current I. So, as we increase the voltage, as we go to V2, our current is decreasing. Alright, friend. And as we move to V3, current is decreased also. So, in this case, from here to here, from V1 to V3, if we increase the voltage, current is decreasing. So, its graph is decreasing graph. So, it is an active component also. Alright, friend. Now, let's move to... Uh, bilateral element <coughs> so what are the bilateral element friend uh, bilateral elements uh, these elements offer same impedance for same current but for the different directions means what if we plot its graph the graph in first quadrant and in third quadrant are mirror image of each other all right friend as you can see here we have a graph uh, I have plot a graph. This is up to 5 volt and this is in third quadrant we have also 5 volt. So these two are you can see it's a mirror image. So it this component is a uh, bilateral element. Here this component also they have the graph in first quadrant and third quadrant are the mirror image of each other. So these this graph is also belongs to bilateral element. Now move to the unilateral element so friend unilateral element do not offer same impedance for same current in different directions examples are diode transistor all right friend means what it offer different impedance in different directions uh, as we and in this uh, element the graph in first quadrant and in third quadrant plot of first quadrant and third quadrant are not mirror image of each other so as you can see this graph here maximum voltage is 5 volt but here maximum voltage is what 3 volt these two are not mirror image all right friend because it is of it is at 5 volt and this is at 3 volt so this component belongs to unilateral element this component also graph <coughs> is not mirror image uh, first quadrant and third quadrant in third quadrant we don't have gra any graph means third quadrant we have zero graph and in first quadrant only we have graph so this is unilateral element and moreover you can see uh, the as you have a study about the diode diode characteristics it's some sort of this and this also this is also unilateral element because you know uh, at you, you can see the graph plot plot in first quadrant and third quadrant are not mirror image of each other all right friend in first quadrant at after knee voltage large current flows but in this case in reverse bias current do not flow current flow only due to the minority carriers and this current is very small so here the graph in first quadrant and the third quadrant do not match with each other do not same so these elements are called active element so friend now okay friend next our topic is linear element 
सो लीनियर एलिमेंट दीज दीज एलिमेंट फॉलो द इक्वेशन वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स वाई इफ यू सी इक्वेशन वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स दिस इज अ लीनियर एलिमेंट नॉट वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी इफ अ कॉन्स्टेंट एडेड टू दिस इक्वेशन वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी दिस वुड बी नॉन लीनियर एलिमेंट नॉन लीनियर सो वॉट इज लीनियर वाई इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी मीन्स एट इफ वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज जीरो एट वाई वी शुड हैव जीरो एट इफ एक्स इज वन वाई शुड बी कॉन्स्टेंट मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ एक्स और राइट फ्रेंड इफ वी प्लॉट द ग्राफ ऑफ लीनियर एलिमेंट द ग्राफ विल पास थ्रू द ऑरिजिन बिकॉज एट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो वी हैव वाई ऑल्सो विल बी जीरो so uh, the this graph would be in this short in this form and m m is slope slope of this graph so this is a linear element this is also linear element this is also a linear element all right friend thank you